I'm Bobby and I like to make stuff. Today we're gonna have a silly one because I've been wanting for a long time to figure out how to toast an image onto a piece of bread. Oh, first thing you gotta do is bake a fresh loaf of bread. A long time ago for Christmas, my mom gave me a toaster oven that actually would put Darth Vader's face on the outside of the piece of the toast. I always thought that was super cool, but I wanted to have other images and be able to kind of swap the image out. And so I started thinking about different ways to actually do that with the toaster. And I do think I know how to do that, but the problem with sticking metal into toasters is that you can get shocked. I don't want anybody else to try to do that, so I'm not gonna do it. Instead, I'm gonna use a toaster oven because it's the same effect and it's a much safer way to try this. And this toaster oven is not for food, so we're gonna put some food in it. This is actually my powder coating oven. It's the exact same thing, but it's specifically not for food use. It's for putting other things in. But for this testing, since we're not gonna eat the toast, we're gonna use this. So I looked around and tried to see if anybody else has done this, and people have figured out different ways to do this before. But one of the things that I thought was really easy but not as flexible in the long run is aluminum foil. So what I found was that people will wrap up pieces of aluminum foil, lay them on top of a piece of toast, and then put it in a toaster oven. Actually, it's bread at that point, I guess. But anyway, they put it on there, they put it in a toaster oven, and it will toast everything except for what's covered by the aluminum foil. So I know that works, but I wanna figure out kind of what the limits are, how thick that foil needs to be, and how we can get a better resolution. So the first thing we need is a baseline. We're just gonna start with a really simple design with some aluminum foil. I also know from experience <laughs> that this is really hard to cut cleanly. Ah! You know what would work better? Scissors. How are those scissors working? <laughs> Terrible! So I'm gonna try while we're waiting on the the first test in the toaster oven, I'm gonna try the same thing with a torch. I hope you catch it on fire. Do we have a fire extinguisher handy? Okay, it's using a lot more heat, you know, much faster, so it's not gonna evenly brown it. It also, ooh, yeah, it just heated the aluminum foil up enough that it actually burned underneath. So that is not gonna work. So this, <laughs> this is done. It's been in there for a while. It's also gonna be very hot and I don't have a way to pick it up. Hang on. Here you go. <laughs> so let's take this piece of hot oh, foil off. That looks great. Look at that design that's on there. Wow, wow. Okay, so that didn't work at all. It actually kind of did. You can feel the difference between out here. It's a little bit softer. Right there, it's not. But it's not toasted. It's, or visibly. Underside is. Let's try that again upside down. Oh, it is, it is very toasty. Oh, that might have worked. Ooh, okay. And that's actually pretty clean. So maybe the top burner in this one is just not the same as the bottom. So we gotta keep that in mind. So one of the things I was curious about was whether you would wanna treat the foil as a mask like this, or if you actually wanna take the foil and roll it up into a mass, instead of mask, like a thicker piece so that it would toast everything around. And it's like a positive or a negative. I think you could do it either way. So now that we know that the mask method works, let's try the other way and see how it works. So for this one, we're gonna wad this up. I don't know how thick this needs to be. I have a feeling this might not work as well, but let's see if that'll toast around that. Oh boy, left that one in a little too long. Hey, but it worked, look at that. Oh, that is hot. So you could do it either way, whether it's positive or negative, if you have a shape that you wanna put on it or you wanna mask everything off. Which actually, we were talking about a little while ago and you can use the laser for the same thing. So before we move on with this, I wanna try toasting a piece in the laser. Obviously you wanna turn it this way. <laughs> All right, it's done. Check this out. Uh, that came out really well. That's pretty amazing. And so the backside is not perfectly soft. It actually is a little bit crusty on the, around the outside. And out here, I thought it was gonna be completely untouched, but it is, you know, like very, very lightly toasted around the outside. So obviously it's not something I would wanna eat, but it is a good way to get a good image. I think we should use this as our gold standard. The thing that we should try to replicate 
on a toaster oven. I don't think we're gonna get there, but I think we should try it anyway. So this idea worked pretty well, but the fact that this is so flimsy and thin, I'm not really sure that that's the best option for this type of a mask. And so I wanna try a thicker piece of aluminum and this is an off cut that I had from when I made R2D2. These are some of the different pieces that I had cut out. This is really thin, relatively thin aluminum. So what I'm gonna do is cut a little section of this out and then test inside the toaster with this as the mask to see how the thick material changes, like the heat dissipation and stuff like that. So next up, I'm gonna do one of these on each side. I wanna see if this particular toaster oven is really only toasting on the bottom or if maybe just the foil had something to do with that. All right, this looks promising. So the top totally worked, like better than I thought I was going to. Bottom worked as well. Okay, so we know that the toaster is working top and bottom, so that's cool. And this thickness, which is probably, I don't know, eighth of an inch maybe, actually worked pretty well. Uh, there's a decent amount of detail around these little shapes. It's not perfect, but you can see a lot of it. So I think that might be a pretty good size of material for us to use. I wanna try thicker before we move ahead, just to see if a thicker material gives us a different result. Okay, looks to be the same, but... <laughs> Maybe a little bit hotter. Ah. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this piece had the thinner aluminum on it and this light color stuff is toasted. This over here, the light color stuff is a mixture of toasted and squishy. Like it's still very squishy in there. So this may actually be acting as an insulator more than what I was expecting, which would be that it would kind of be burning underneath. So I think this thin material is actually probably the way to go. Uh, we just need to see how this will work on the CNC. It's aluminum, so it should be fine. According to math, this thing should be moving at 108 inches per minute. And that's way too fast in my head. But I think it's at 60 but I'm taking much shallower cuts because before it was taking a whole cut and so it actually pushed out the aluminum from the top and from the bottom, which is not cutting. It was just basically melting and rubbing. So it may be moving too slow. I don't know. I should probably look at something, but whatever, let's just do it. I made some ridiculous stencils to make some toast. Now, I used my water jet. It's called a Wazer. It's like a desktop water jet. Obviously, I know a lot of people do not have access to something like that, but it did work really well to cut these out. I also tried to find an alternative, and so I used a service called Send Cut Send. They're not sponsoring this, but I just really like them, and we've used them before. I got the same designs cut by Send Cut Send, and they look way better, and they're actually pretty cheap. Each one of these ended up being about $10 a piece. I only ordered four. So if you were wanting to do this as like a gag for somebody or just to have some of these for yourself, it's a pretty inexpensive way to do it. All you have to have is a design that can be cut out. So you want something where there's no floating pieces. Everything has to be connected, even if the connections are really, really tiny. So now we've got these, we're gonna cut them out. I wanna test these versions against the versions that I cut and just see if these actually look good on a piece of bread. Would that be a bread sandwich that you just made? <laughs> I guess this is a bread sandwich. I have a feeling, just from glancing in here, that theirs worked better than mine. But, oh my goodness, it's hot. These are really hot. All right, so this one is my version. Oh, that's disappointing. That's not good at all. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you were prepared. Well, you know. I can kind of see the poop in that. 
All right, let's try the other one. Oh no, that looks terrible. This didn't work at all. That's a bummer. That one's, that's close. Like maybe, maybe do this on top because that seemed to be a darker toast. Yeah. If I squint, it looks like toast. Okay, so, <laughs> so from this, I would deduce, this one's not hot, that the, <laughs> I would deduce that the line art needs to be wider than what you actually want because it's gonna burn in, you know, it's not gonna hit the edges, which means that this thing is absolutely not gonna work, but we're gonna try it anyway. It could have something to do with like how, yeah, could you weight it? How compressed it was. Oh yeah, because if you do that, it pushes the, I need a, a heat, bread clamp. heat proof clamp. Okay, don't do this at home, obviously, but I'm gonna use some one, two, three blocks to weight this down to actually have the bread, it kind of pushes up through a little bit. And I'm thinking maybe that'll have a better chance of having a, a better, cleaner line. I don't know, it probably won't, but we're gonna do it anyway. This is one of the dumber things I've ever done. Oh no! You gotta be more careful, Bob. Slower. Oh, that side came off. Oh, well, that looks better. I mean, you can see what it is yeah. kind of better than these. <laughs> Let go! Oh no, it like baked it together. There you go. Should've used the non-stick aluminum. Non-stick bread. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is absolutely worth it. Oh no, it broke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that didn't work. I have to say those are complete failures. Everything so far has failed, <laughs> except for the laser. So we're gonna try a simpler design. I just cut this out on the water jet. Uh, just a big single shape that should be a little bit more recognizable. So maybe something like this or a Christmas tree or a heart. We were brainstorming some other shapes like this that might work, it might not. But also we're gonna try butter because I have a feeling that if you butter this section, it will brown sooner, maybe better, maybe worse. I don't know, let's find out. <laughs> it's like that out of the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> you don't keep thing of butter out? I don't use butter. Not only am I bad at buttering things, uh, it's cold and not spreading. So I put butter on stuff all the time. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna try this. And then on another piece. We're actually gonna try the cutout and see if we get a better result by having the positive instead of the negative. The positive, I think is actually gonna work really well. This is super hot. I'm not gonna eat this, so I'm just gonna use this thing. Oh man, yeah, it's like, oh, just not enough detail. Like you really have to have those lines come really far out. But I mean, the contrast is really good just not enough detail to tell what it is. And the butter actually made the bread sink down a little bit and it didn't seem to toast like I expected it to, so that's a total bust. That one tastes better though. Yeah, at least this one has butter on it. Okay. So, this was an absolute, total, utter, complete failure. Uh, if you were wanting to do something like this, just you know, for your kids, or something when you make them a sandwich, absolutely not worth it, at least using these methods. Maybe there's another way. Uh, if you want for a project to put a design on a piece of bread, a laser is absolutely the way to do it, but I wouldn't recommend eating this. Uh, so I'm not gonna give this one to the ducks, but we're gonna take all the rest of this and go throw it out for the ducks to eat. It was a fun experiment, it just didn't work. If you have any other ideas of how this might work, what else we could try, probably not in a video. Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear it because I think this would be pretty cool if you could make it work. We do have a whole bunch of other videos that are not failures. We're gonna send you right over to a playlist of successful projects. But first, it's time for bloopers. Uh, why is it not? It's unplugged. Ready? Yeah. Action. Let's make some bass, ba base, base. We need a baseline, but it is a pretty good way to get a good 
Dig, 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 dig,